हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज प्रवीण पवार इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ यूजीसी नेट दिसंबर 2015 दिस इज पेपर 2 ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस हियर वी विल डिस्कस फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 टू 50 फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 टू 25 प्लीज गो टू माय प्रीवियस वीडियो सो हियर वी विल स्टार्ट सो क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 मैच द फॉलोइंग फॉर एन चैनल अनाउंसमेंट नॉर्मली ऑफ द वी आई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फॉर दिस इज गिवन हियर इन थर्ड वन For P channel deflection MOSFET, we have characteristic for this is given here in fourth one. N channel set, so we have characteristic for this is here. The P channel MOS enhancement MOSFET, the symbol of this is here in first one. So our correct option is three, four, two, one. Correct option is one. Question number twenty-seven match the following. In list one, you can see. The function or discrete function, discrete functions are given, and uh, in list two, their uh, jet transform is given. So here will match for x of n minus n zero. For this jet transform is z over minus n zero x of z. For x of minus n, it is one over x of one over z. Z zero of n x of n. For this is this one. And e to the power j omega in x of n. For using duality property, you can get the jet transform. So correct answer is four one two three. So correct answer is two. Question number twenty eight. J F VGS is equal to zero volt. So for this, the circuit is this one. In second one. So here you can you know that as you know that uh, this is our drain terminal, this is gate, and this is our source. So VGS is short circuit here. It is zero volt. Jeffet self bias for this here, and Jeffet is a fixed bias. So here it is first one, and uh, FET low frequency circuit. So here it is in fourth one. So our correct. Frequency is two three one four. Two three one four. Correct answer is fourth one. Now question number twenty nine. Match the following in context of fan out of various families. So here logic families are given for DTL. Its fan out is So DTL it varies between five to fifteen. For TTL it is thirty, and for CMOS it is twenty, and for CMOS it is highest that is fifty. So our correct option is four one sorry four two one three four two one three. Our correct option is two. Question number thirty. Match among the following pair in the context of an 8085 microprocessor. So here instructions are given in the list one, and uh, which type of instruction is there? That is in list two. So DAA, which is decimal adjust accumulator. This is an arithmetic instruction. XTHL, exchange the contents of HL. This is uh, the Contents of L register is exchanged with the memory register whose address is stored in the stack pointer, and the constraint of H register will be exchanged with the memory register whose address is stored in the stack pointer address plus one. So, XTHL. This is our data transfer instruction. RST is indicated to interrupt at RST 7.5, 6.5. It's a vector location. Is it specified here? So this is our branch instruction. A and I is uh, and immediately. So this is our logical instruction. So our uh, option is four, one, two, three. So second one is the correct option. Question number thirty-one. The C construct that is used to terminate the current iteration of loop. Is uh, our best correct matches continue statement. The go to statement in C is equivalent to the break statement. 
by default members of a class members of a class in c++ are private and by default members of a structure in c++ are here public so our sequence is 3 1 4 2 3 1 4 2 correct the answer is fourth one question number 32 match the following in list one here vswr voltage is standing wave ratio you know that uh, it varies between 1 to infinity so it's a uh, match is this one reflection coefficient uh, rho which varies between 0 to 1 so this one magnetic flux density its unit is vapor per meter and magnetic field intensity related to current so its unit is ampere per meter so our sequence is 2 4 1 3 2 4 1 3 correct option is I don't know now question number 33 for in list 1 the name of uh, buses are given and in list 2 they are corresponding the Fourier transformer you can say you know frequency domain representation is there so for rectangular pulse it's a uh, the form looks like this for double sided exponential it looks like this and for cosine pulse is uh, this one and for damped sine this third one so our correct uh, is 4 2 1 3 4, four 2 1 3 fourth one is the correct answer now question number 34 the cyclo converter is uh, related to RF fitting. The tri -ec is related to fan regulator and chopper is used for relaxation oscillator. Sorry, this is the DC driver and the, our UJT is a relaxation oscillator. So our uh, correct that is 4 1 3 2 4 1 3 2 correct answer is third one question number 35 next the following in list 1 we can see the function is time domain is given and in list 2 their corresponding jet transform is given so the u of t unity step function its uh, z transform is z upon z minus 1 for t or ram function standard form is here uh, t z upon z minus 1 square and uh, for this t square again multiply by t so it would be fourth one t square z z plus 1 upon z minus 1 whole cube and for this exponential e to the power minus a t its uh, z transform is this one so our correct is 3 1 4 2 3 1 4 2 third one is the correct answer now there is a directions for question number from question number 36 to 45 the following items consists of two statements one labeled as assertion and other labeled as the reason you have to examine the two statements carefully and decide if the assertion and reason are individually true and if so whether the reason is the correct extension of the assertion so here you will select uh, option 1 and both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. You will select option 2 if both A and R are true but R is not the correct explanation of A. You will select answer 3 if A is true but R is false. You will select answer 4 if A is false but R is true. So here is the assertion. The epitaxial layer growth possesses the same crystal structure to that of the substrate on which it is uh, grown so here this uh, is correct it can only be a similar conductivity type but possess different value of resistivity to that of the substance so this is wrong so a is true but r is false so it's uh, correct is third now question number 37 cut set is that set of elements that dissociate two main portions of a network such that replacing any one element will destroy this property so this one is correct 
it is always not possible to trace the path from one node to any other node by traveling along the tree branch only so this is uh, not correct again it's uh, correct is c because assertion is true but reason is false so here is question number 38 a sinusoidal signal applied to the input of an ideal class a amplifier usually does not produce an exact replica of the input signal waveform so this is not correct this variation is caused due to non-linearity in the characteristics of the transistor we'll say this is correct so a is false but r is true correct option is fourth one now question number 39 the output of an 8 bit a to d converter is 80 for H represent here that this num data is in hexadecimal format for an input of 2.5 volt. So to calculate this, uh, simply uh, we know that uh, the AT which is in hexadecimal, its uh, decimal would be 128. So easily you can calculate uh, as 16 into 16 to the power 1 into 8 plus 16 to the power 0 into 0. So it would come 128 in decimal. So now here the 8 bit so it is 2 to the power 8 minus 1 upon 2.5 on calculating this you will get approximate 102 so which is not equal to this so this statement is not correct ADC has an output range of 00 to FF as for an input range of minus 5 volt to plus 5 volt so this is uh, correct so again so option is fourth one is the correct for the circuit shown below consider the two statements the circuit is sequential so here given circuit is sequential sequential circuit has characteristic the output is the access the input of the circuit itself and here there is a loop in the circuit here is the loop in the circuit so both statement are, are correct and uh, its uh, correct answer is 1 the sign of the result of evaluation of modulus operator depends uh, upon the sign of numerator only so this is true if the denominator is negative the result will be negative and if the denominator is positive the result will be positive so this is incorrect so our correct option is third a waveguide directional coupler is a four port waveguide function device that samples part of the em wave power through the main waveguide so here this is uh, our uh, correct statement and the direction couplers are described by coupling factor directivity and PSWR. This is also correct. But uh, this is not the correct explanation of an assertion. So our option is 2. Phase delay distortion can be reduced to acceptable levels by using equalization on the channel. This is correct. The equalizer automatically varies its delay characteristics while sampling the return signal to determine. When the channel plus equalizer delay reach proper tolerance. So this is also correct and correct explanation of assertion. So our correct answer is 1. Question number 44. In pin photodiodes, an intrinsic layer is there which is slightly doped with N type material. So this is uh, correct. And it disables us to increase the width of the depletion region to value which is far lesser what it could be in PN diode. So here it is not correct. So our correct option is third one. Now question number 45. The roots of the characteristic equation must lie in the left hand S plane for the system to exhibit a stable time response. This statement is correct if roots are in left hand side of S plane our system leads to stable. Routh Horowitz criteria is necessary and sufficient criteria for stability. This is also correct but it's not the correct explanation of assertion. So we will choose second one. So before going to 46 to 50 
and the passage is given an antenna is a key component of a wireless link which efficiently couples electromagnetic energy from the transmitter to free space and from free space to the receiver an antenna is generally a bidirectional device that is the power through the antenna can flow in both the direction hence it works as a transmitting as well as the receiving antenna an antenna acts as an interface between the radiated electromagnetic waves and the guided waves it can be thought of as a mode transfer which transforms a guided wave field distortion into a radiated wave field distortion so here is the question number 56 the angular distribution of the transmitted power around the antenna is generally known as so the correct option is third one radiation pattern question number 47 ultra high frequency spectrum is defined as so range of this ultra high frequency spectrum is 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz correct option is third one the most basic antenna element is the hardsian dipole it's also known as ideal dipole so correct one is first one the radiation efficiency of an antenna with input power 100 watt and power dissipation 1 watt is to calculate the radiation efficiency its formula is input power upon input power plus our this dissipation power so it is 100 upon 10 100 plus 1 101 so on calculating calculating this it will come 0 0.99 so it is 99 percent question number 50 the antenna that is circularly polarized the circularly polarized is called helical antenna so correct option is 4 so that's all we have completed the uh, question paper 2 of our, this electronic science so thanks for your kind attention your all suggestions are most welcome please like share and comment and subscribe my channel pravin254888 all the best friends